Hello YouTube, welcome back to another mod blog episode with me, FS Farmyard Dog. So today we are looking at the John Deere 7530. I'll have a quick look in the shop first. So here it is, it'll cost £139,000 to buy, has a maintenance cost of £175 per day and a max horsepower of 130, or 213. So for the horsepower ratio to maintenance cost, it is fairly expensive to keep on your farm, however it is a good all round tractor. So I'm going to have a quick look around for clip and then we'll get in and give it a little test. So all around these wheels, there's no clip whatsoever and around the back, on the three point here there's no clip so all in all it's a very solid model you can jump up over here and you don't clip into any part of it so there are a few features on the outside such as mud guards or fenders on and off with keypad R now I do prefer mud guards off compared to one but I do find it very interesting that the shadow appears under the wheel, I think that's very nice detail. Um, inside you have this full control panel for your forage wagons and GPS. Now if I go outside there is a trigger to unmount all of that so that you can see there's none there. I suppose if it's in your eye line or you just prefer none of the dials being there um, it's always nice to have the option to take things on and off to your personal preference and you can also open and close the door from the outside which I always think is a fantastic feature for your screenshots or a little bit of realism before we get inside the detail on the outside is very nice you can see all the individual rivets and you've got the tow chain on the front there everything's been modelled really really nicely one thing to bear in mind with this track it has the sort of matte tone that we saw in FS13 um, Compared to FS15, they have sort of a glossy look, um, but that is down to personal preference, what you prefer. I I think they look nice together anyway. Um, I don't think it takes away from the model whatsoever. Another thing is you've got the Michelin tyres here, and you have a little bit of mud building up on them. So I assume that the model gets muddy. Um, it doesn't say anything in the description about it, but it's good to see that the tyres are getting dirty. So. On the inside we do have full IC controls. Now if you listen when I shut the door the engine note will change to slightly dampened. Hopefully that picks up in the video. But that is a very nice feature. It has indoor sound scripts. Uh, of course you can open this door. And all these controls on the side here are for your front linkage. And warning signs. So you've got a warning sign on the left side there and hopefully put one on the right just then oh see there is a slurry mount there for your Zuma hammer kit or for your Amazon um, front feeder and back sprayer got to remember to take that off now and I there we go and this is the front linkage and you get sort of a front post there to mount a front loader on and all the controls come up there really nicely you've got two extra lights as well so this tractor is fully kitted out with extras and uh, things to make the game a little bit more realistic whilst playing so if we go back outside you've got all your normal controls uh, indicators and uh, a huge horn off uh, what sounds to be a freight train so I'm going to go for a quick drive the max speed in this tractor is around 30 to 32 miles an hour which isn't too fast and isn't too fast you won't be uh, racing around the farm but um, you'll be able to pick up a nice speed and not be too slow so as it has a lot of horsepower um, you'll be able to go up hills with equipment fairly well but it's not your largest tractor so you may not be pulling um, the crampy trailers or anything like that as we can see we've got working speedo and RPMs. So this tractor is fully log error free and works with all the hired workers. Now hopefully the front loader bracket will lower. 
There we go. Oh no, wrong one. I put the uh, slurry pipe on. There we go. The front linkage has now been supported. I thought I would give this a test with the Fent drum mower, as that is a mod off the official farming website. As you can see, very nicely modelled, and there are a few features on there. So if you want that, I'll also put that in the description. So the PTO on the front linkage seems to work very nicely. Um, there's no problems there. And the back three point goes into all the right places on the weight link. So all in all, everything seems to be lining up very nicely. And uh, go for a little drive and we'll wrap this episode up. So one thing I do really like about the John Deere Premium is the fact it seems to be a very like classic tractor for looking really nice. I mean, everything sort of rounded off, the roof round off, and all the lights round off. It is one of my personal favourites, which is why I thought I would show you guys it. If you fancy like downloading this map, this is Thistle Farm. Um, it's from Mod Hoster from a long time ago now, but I thought it'd be a, a good, a good base map to show uh, sort of. Uh, grassland as I've got a few new mods coming up um, very very soon um, which hopefully you will enjoy so this track there seems to be working very nicely um, if you fancy like downloading this the link will be in the description as always it's from mod hoster and uh, before I go I'd like to say a huge thank you to all support on the channel and uh, if you have any comments feel free to leave them below and I'll get back to you the best I can Thanks for watching and bye for now.